we're back on Emma Sprinter van build. This time for a couple of days, and we're starting on things like the electrical system, diesel heater, figuring out the layout and starting on furniture. Lance also got to join the dogs in their little surprise in the garden. After a couple of hours of playing in the garden and enjoying the weather, we headed over to the van and got started. There was a lot to do in these few days to really get the van pushed forward, and most of which were involving skills that were new to Emma. And speaking of skills, today's video is once again sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of courses for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, develop existing ones, maybe find a new hobby, and all in all just improve on things that you enjoy. This time I'm on Creativity Unleashed. Discover, hone and share your voice online by Nathaniel Drew. I wasn't really sure what to expect from this one, but in the end I'm so glad I sat through it. Nathaniel brings all sorts of points up that I think every online creator feels from time to time, then ways and methods to overcome them. Things like insecurity within your content and what you think is valuable or not could be something completely different to someone else. It was a real breath of fresh air to hear his point of view and I've come away with a lot of fresh perspectives. The first thousand of you to use the link in the description below will receive Skillshare for one month free. Right then, back to the van. The last time we dropped the spare wheel to fit the water tank, got all the fittings on, filler necks and pipes up in through the floor. We also got Emma's new cab chairs fitted despite the fact that they were a massive ball ache. We got the walls, the floor and the bed in. Quite a productive weekend. Now the last part of the puzzle that will make this van start to look like a home is the ceiling. Emma had toyed around with all sorts of design ideas, but in the end decided to go for the old faithful tongue and groove slats. Lightweight, easy to fit, hold themselves together and they look great. The battens that we'd fixed into the roof right at the start are now doing multiple different jobs. They're holding the string in that keeps the insulation in place, they're holding the vapour barrier that's now stapled to them, and now there are fixing points for the slats. Because the ceiling was going up slat by slat, it allowed us to manoeuvre and run any of the high up wiring, like the lights and solar, around things and where they needed to go. Whilst Emma finished off the ceiling, I got started on the electrical system. To start with, I was just putting in the main bulk and rigging it up with a temporary battery so that Emma had lights and power. I just want to get this to a point where you can... That? Yeah. You can like use the electrical system and switch it all off when you're done. So you can like plug stuff in. Um, I think I've got a spare USB that I'm going to pop on there so you can plug your speaker in and shit. Ooh. You can actually start to use the electrics. You should actually get some batteries and some clothes. Yes. That'd be it's <laughs> just a pit of expense building mm. a camper van. Hmm. It's not really a camper van, is it? Motor home. Home on wheels. Hashtag <laughs> van eye. <laughs> I said to, to, to Jack the other day, thank like, for payday. I've got 28 pounds. <laughs> Oh really? Can't you have 28 pounds? I can build a house! We managed to miss a light right at the front near the door. But again, thanks to the tongue and groove, you can just unscrew a panel, slide it out the way and run the wire. So thankfully, we didn't have to take the entire ceiling down. Now that the insulation, walls and bed were in, Emma had finally made the decision that the bed wasn't wide enough. 
So the options were to fit fiberglass side pods or the cheaper option, steal some space out of the inside cavities of the wall. This granted reduces insulation in the walls, but it's no different to having a window. So she decided to go for this option. It would have definitely been easier to do this job had the bed not been in and the walls not fastened up. But that is a van build for you. You can plan for every eventuality till your heart's content. You'll still come across challenges and hurdles that will make you change designs and go one step forward, two steps back. I had it on my van and now Emma's having it on hers. So we are cutting the walls out using a multi-tool, sliding and fixing battens in, squeezing in some insulation where we can, and then setting the walls back and fixing in some returns. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> They're all seats, aren't they? They are. They oh, are legs. Legs? Legs. Oh, and then it went into the So Emma took these from work and we're making some form of artisan bullshit. Well, they were going in the bin. Yeah. So. Upcycling. Yeah. My little Taj Mahal. Would you like to be the first to pass the threshold? I would. <laughs> yeah. Why isn't it? <laughs> Should it swing? <laughs> well, <laughs> I think it's cool. The look of wonder. <laughs> Lift that. Yeah. Lift. Oh. Um, in there. Pull this on the inside. It's gonna need something. Well, I mean, we can maybe get on with your sofa if you want. Or no, we want to start that side, don't we? We could start framing up your bathroom. Could do. Seeing where that starts to get to. Yeah. And then yeah, from there it's then cupboard. Cupboard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you've got what so you've um, yeah, yeah you sorry for them. Do we I don't come. Do we come to there? I think so. Yeah. Big I think I even gave myself to there. What and I then cupboard. Oh no. Something including cupboard. Oh, right, right. Okay, I was going to say because oh. we've got to no, no, sort of yeah. finish that off, haven't we? Because um, I was thinking, even if the sofa, I think I'd like the limit to be that the sofa starts here, like at the very smallest. Right. Because I'm just thinking of the corner. Yeah. It takes up room, doesn't it? Yeah. And I know it's. I'd like it to. Yeah. Yeah, you off. sort of want to make that bit. Where the wheel arches, don't you? Yeah. Just sliding out. So then at least you've got like one like fat ass seat yeah. and then a corner. <laughs> fat ass seat. You know what I mean? We started marking out the furniture on the floor to get a feel for the layout. So we could decide the thickness of everything, the walkthroughs, angles, where the bathroom starts and stops and how big the sofa is. Just trying to figure out um, where everything's going. So we've got log burner plinth going here, kitchen all the way along, uh, protruding over the door slightly. Just having a sofa raised up slightly here, but also a bit that's coming out to make like an L-shaped sofa that retracts. And that'll also double up as the way into the bed, the mini Taj Mahal. But what you don't want to do is make this walk through, just like a proper squeeze. Um, it gets really claustrophobic otherwise if this is all walled here um, it's going to be a bit like looking through the van so yeah we're just trying to figure it out at the minute I say that Emma's gone to make a cup of tea but oh ow you alright oh she's gone I've got toe cramps you just fell out <laughs> spectacularly out of the van no i got toe cramps toilet's here so, what's your thought for bathroom then? Shower over in there, is it? Yeah. And then toilet in that corner. Well, I see, I, I don't know, I'm not on the same page as you with that. Because I know that you say that yours is annoying and too small, but I really don't want the bathroom to take up the majority of the room. Mm. So, is that going way back then? I think so. But I mean, well, maybe, yeah, a little bit over here because of uh, fitting the heater in. Yeah, and then the rest. Cupboard. Yeah. Oh, so it's going to be a big cupboard. Yeah. Oh. You could drop it back a bit then. 
Yeah. Ah, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. That's a bit better, isn't it? Because... I think so. It, yeah, it's just that little it's just that, smidge of tightness. It's just where it's like, God, I've got to stop eating. <laughs> um, unless the kitchen comes back a little bit, maybe. Like, just everything I'm in that. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. You can. Because that's quite a big kitchen, really. It is. You've got to think oven is one block, fridge, sink. Yeah, sinks so. are. I mean, I guess you can drop the sink in above the fridge if you raise it up enough. But then a bit of workspace. Oh, no, this you're having that like, tab. I was really tab. trying to avoid. I know I can't. Yeah. But I was really trying to avoid. The narrow. What the hell have you found now? Oh, it's his sausage. Sausage dog? That's what he, he swapped out for the ball. What you got? Look at his face. <laughs> it is going to have to, mm, that one. It is going to have to happen to some extent. As long as it's not like, I don't want to feel claustrophobic. That's my worst thing. I don't think you will. I think that little corner where you stood is going to be a I little tight. But that kind of separates it to the entrance. Oh. oh. Just to sort of soften it. Yeah. I mean, that's quite a big bathroom. That's a lot it's bigger, bigger than, than Yeah, it's bigger than that. No, width-wise, no. Length-wise, you've probably got another Stay. chunk. So that's where it goes in and out. Yeah. Or did you just miss the toilet one day? That is not my skid. <laughs> that's what a toilet looks like in a C4. Yeah. <laughs> Are you happy with that size bathroom? I would love it to not take up any room at all, but it has to, so yeah, I'm fine. Just... One more time. But before any final measurements and decisions can be made, the centerpiece of the whole project needs to come in. This rug. Yes, if I haven't mentioned before, we are building a van around a rug. It's so wide. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> This is what I was saying. I think it needs to be like, and then the cupboards come out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can have. Um, the rug in. <laughs> what's the word? They have them in the kitchen, don't they? Kickboard. Yeah. Sort of drops back. That can be done quite easily. I mean, it's not that far off. Oh, it feels nice. Oh, it does feel I nice. Don't think you can How long before someone's gonna f it up? Oh, yeah. So we really just did the tape and come up with a solution that would allow the rug to fit. But before we got too stuck into the driver's side furniture, we finished off the window return. Then once that was done, we could get cracking from the ground up. Marking out the upright of where the bathroom will finish, we could then start on the lower sections of the wardrobe and the sofa. The plan is to jut the lowest sections of all of the furniture back slightly, a bit like the kickboards in your kitchen. This will not only steal enough floor space to allow Emma's infamous rug to fit, but should also be quite a cool design feature, giving the furniture the illusion that it's floating. I was tasked with the awkward job of carrying on this effect on the 45 degree where the wardrobe meets the bathroom. She's resorted to beer. So have I. Cheers. Cheers darling. The next morning was a weekday, so Emma had to shoot off to work, leaving me and Lance to our own devices. I spent the first half of the day doing some repairs to Amber, and then got onto Emma's van. I decided to get started on the diesel gear. It seemed like an appropriate time to get it done, as when a van's in its framework stage, you can see where everything needs to go, but you can run everything easily without cutting loads of holes in freshly cut panels. I strongly recommend buying one of these turrets if you're going to fit a diesel heater, especially if you've got an insulated floor.
The second Emma returned home, she was straight in to give an extra pair of hands. Lovely. Lovely. With everything now neatly hanging out the turret underneath, it was just a case of fixing it up. I also gave the turret a quick bead of PU sealant to seal up where I'd cut. Plug it in, we're good to go. Yeah, boy! Do you want to save them for anything the other here? Or? No, there's still some in that one. Just bung it all in? Yeah. It's like 10 litres, isn't it? That's five. This? Yeah, uh, I think they're five, yeah. Wrong one. Oh. Really learn to turn the music off. She goes. We have smoke. And we have heat. Yeah, boy, where are you going? Momentous part of your van building, you're not even here. <laughs> Where did you go? I, was looking, I had my face in the exhaust. That's it going. She's alive. Is the voltage dropped? Yeah, we've got the voltage back now. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's give that a test run for half hour. Make sure nothing melts. Just on the gas tank. Okay, let the hilarity ensue. Oh, oh it can't go that way either. Now pins and pies. 